What's up, Bruins? I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. Now let's go to Natalia with what's happening. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here with what's happening. So today is National Picnic Day, and National Take a Chance Day, and National Talk Like Shakespeare Day. And don't forget that show core tryouts are next week on Monday, April 26th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. or Tuesday from 4.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. in room 4, 147. Today is also the National Day of Silence. Here is Mrs. Stratton with more information. Bye, Burns. Have a fabulous Friday. Thanks for Hey, everyone. Um, so today is technically the National Day of Silence. And ideally, I would have put this information out yesterday, but let's spend a crazy week with Book Fair. So the National Day of Silence, the goal of it is to protest bullying and harassment of students who are part of the LGBTQ community. And it's supposed to bring awareness um, to schools um, and colleges and all around the, the nation about how um, name calling and bullying has a silencing effect on the community. So if you were participating, um, you would actually be taking a day long vow of silence. Now that's really hard to do um, at school. Um, in fact, our district does not want you to take a vow of silence and not participate in your classes today. Um, same with me as a teacher. It's really hard for me to not talk to people all day. I'm running a book fair. It's hard. So um, I don't know that we can observe the National Day of Silence, especially because a lot of you are watching this midday, um, in the way that it was intended. However, I thought personally that at least from the, this moment on, if you're watching this right now, that you can make a vow to not say anything mean to anyone today, to not, you know, it doesn't matter what the person is, what anything, any community they're a part of, whatever it is, like just be nice for the day. Um, I think that could at least go a long way. So take a national or a, a day of uh, being nice um, and maybe try to carry that on into next week. Um, but so that's that's what the National Day of Silence is. Also, if you're sitting here watching this and go, oh yeah, I really wanted to buy something from the book fair. Well, this book fair is going to be over um, basically at the end of fourth period. So ask your teacher if you've got money, ask if you can come and make your last purchases. Um, there is also an online book fair. The link's posted on Canvas, so you could go on there and buy some things from that. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks, Natalia. Thanks, Ms. Stratton. And guys, maybe you should go have a picnic. That's always fun to have with your friends this weekend. So now let's go to Brianna with lunch. What's up, everyone? I'm your lunch lady here with the National Day and Lunch. Today's National Cherry Cheesecake Day, and for lunch you'll have an all-American hot dog, manager spe special, assorted fruit, cucumber slices, and loaf of milk. That's all for me today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Brianna. Lunch sounds delicious. Now let's go see what our weather looks like with Olivia. Hey Bruins, it's your brother girl Olivia. Today we'll have a high of 86 and a low of 68, and it'll be mostly cloudy with a light breeze. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 89 and a low of 72, and it'll again be mostly cloudy. Back to you. Thanks Olivia, this weather right now is amazing. Now let's go to a dad joke of the day with Nicole. Hi guys, we're back to today's dad joke. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? Half, finding half a worm in your apple. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole, for that amazing dad joke. Now let's go see what Shorty Corey has to say. Hey, Bruins, it's Shorty Corey with the Going Green tip. Just because Earth Day is over doesn't mean you shouldn't stop helping the environment. We have talked about reusable water bottles and reusable grocery bags, and you should also try reusable containers instead of things like Ziploc bags. Going green can change the environment. Greg is trying to go green, but I don't know. I think he's on vacation right now, so I'm not even going to touch that. Have a wonderful day, Bruins. Back to you. Thanks, Shorty Corey. Maybe instead of just talking about going green, we should just do it, guys. Come on, it's not that hard. Now let's go see what SEL of the day is with Anjali. Hey, everyone. This is Anjali with the SEL for today. For SEL, treasure yourself. We are all amazing in our ways. You may be a great dancer, a good listener, a talented musician, or an all-star athlete. Instead of focusing on the things you don't like about yourself, think about all the talents and wonderful traits that make you great. Have a great day, Bruins. Thanks, Anjali, and guys, remember, the most important opinion is your opinion. Now, let's go to Dariana with the shout-outs. Hey, guys, I'm here with a quick shout-out. Um, happy birthday, it's actually tomorrow, to Mason Dell. Um, hope you enjoy your birthday. Guys, I'm here with um, shout-outs. Ms. Stratton would like to give a shout-out to the BTV crew for running the show mostly without her this week while she, she deals with the book fair. Thank you, Ms. Stratton. Now back to you. Parents, it's Madison. And Shorty Corey here with a poem. Shall I compare thee to summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds 
do shake the darling buds of May. And summer's least hath all too short a date. Sometimes too hot the eye of heaven shines. And often is his gold complexion dimmed. And every fair from fair sometimes declines. By chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But the eternal summer shall not fade. Nor lose a pa- po- possession of that fair thy oust. Nor shall death brag thou wanders in his shade. When in eternal lines to time thy growth is. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see. So long lives this and this gives life to thee. William Shakespeare. Thanks. Hey guys, here's just a little extra information. So last night, girls and guys both played at Barrington. Girls won 42 to 13. Girls played amazing. The second half blew it out. And I think in the first minute or two of coming back in that second half, we made about six, eight points. It was incredible. And then our guys sadly lost the first game last night, but they played their hardest. Second half, they came back. Gavin Hart played amazing. He uh, stuck it out, and so did Nick Womack. And I just wanted to give those shout outs to those boys. And um, hopefully, you guys can all come back out to our game that's next Wednesday. It's at Randall, it's our last game. Girls, it actually decides. Um, If we win this, we're going to playoffs. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye, Bruins. Thanks for whatever video that was. Hope you guys all have a great day. Bye, Bruins.